Mmm, not bad. It does taste like cake. Oh, hey. Oh, <laughs> hi there. I'm making a uh, cereal latte. Um, Fruity Pebbles 50th birthday birthday cake. Ooh, a lot of birthday on that. Anyways, I was at the store, saw the Fruity Pebbles. I'm like, I haven't had that in a while. I'm going to grab it, bought it, and it was the 50th birthday edition. And I didn't. I thought it was just regular ones, but it actually it's a different flavor and it does taste like a cake. It's kind of interesting. The flavor it wasn't too sweet, which is great because if it was, I think it would have been way too much and I couldn't eat this thing. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe this might be a good idea for a drink. You know, it's limited edition. So I decided to make one. Recipes, pretty simple. I did it in one shot. Proud of myself. One and a half cups of the cereal, one and a half cups of milk, which is 12 ounces or 250 milliliters in grams. It'll be in the description below. You can see the recipe there. Anyways, I, I poured it. I let it soak for like two minutes, but um, I'm not I don't like being wasteful. So I ate the cereal. So it was about total three to four minutes of soaking. Um, this cereal really gets soggy really quick because it's like rice. And um, yeah, so I sift the like remainder part of it and I had about eight ounces of milk left over, which is perfect for the drink I'm gonna make. And I'm um, gonna pull a shot here. It's about 18 grams of coffee and about 36, 40 grams of espresso. Uh, Could have gone smaller, but um, at the end, the the drink was balanced. It was good. It was sweet. It wasn't super sweet that you couldn't taste the coffee. So you could still taste coffee, but you could still taste what the cereal milk tastes like when you eat the cereal. So I um, really enjoyed this drink. This was really fun. Um, comment down below in the comments of your favorite cereal. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a cereal drink out of it. Um, I have a few other ones um, that I'm thinking of making. So stay tuned for that.